that's the type of in-game adjustments you need to be able to make, especially for us. You know, it's no secret we're going to get everybody's best. And it's just part of um, playing at St. Francis. Took 11 guys on defense to do their own individual job. Well, they talked about this is a sleeping giant. We just needed to wake up. Eyes on one goal, and that's the national championship, so we want to come out and prove it. I'm glad we came out on top. Me too. He's looking down for Rocky James. He's got him inside the 20 to the 15. The first down is Coker wants to throw and throws the fade to the right side. The ball is caught inside the 30. Oh! We're wanting to throw the long ball. He's got a man out there. That's a catch by Rocky James. James at the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, and will be wrestled down inside the 10 yard line. It'll be first and goal for St. Francis. Cooper's going for the goal. Here is a spin play by Ferrer. Look, steps up, throws to the right corner. Traffic out there again, but the ball is caught for a touchdown. Rocky James took it away from the defender. <laughs> First down, second level, 45, 50 and a foot race inside the 40 yard line, inside the 30, cuts back, he can't find anything, checks off, it throws a Gegner inside the five, they get into the end zone, touchdown. Wow. Hey, Here's a quick out pattern, and uh, it's complete, Gegner leaps over a tackler and reaches up close to the 30 yard line, that's very close to a first down, so Zach Gegner, that was a big fella, 232 pounds.
to the right, too wide to the left. Looking, the rush is coming and they've got him sacked. Boy, the Cougars pinched in that time and brought pressure. Now the rush is on, and they've got the bone for a sack. Jarrell Holman came up and lowered the boom. And they'll have a gain of only a few yards, yards. And they've got a couple out of about the 20 yard line. Deep. It'll be game and game it up the middle. It's got a little men. Wow, he took a hit at the 20 yard line. And here's the hold by Boswell. End over end looks good on the way and is good. 35 yard field goal by Ryan Nix. side as Ferrer looks to throw the blitz is coming steps up nicely in the pocket throws the fade and coach stumbled can he get it he's got it on his fingertips inside the 35 yard line focus on that ball and gathered in for a big play is complete. The catch by 
Code at the 35, loops to his left, still on his feet, 40, 45, runs away from uh, tacklers. Open Monte McDowell. She stumbles into the end zone. Out of it by Kelso, but here's Ferrer. Looks right, dumps it off. Here's a catch. Monte McDowell turning to turn the counter, trying to get into the end zone. Let's see that he step out of bounds. Wow, Ferrer throws the fade right side, looking for McDowell. McDowell has the ball inside the five, down to the two yard line. Pulls it down and he's going to pay the price. Ball pop free, but ONU is going to cough it up one way or the other. Sacks him back around the 15-yard line. Lucas Sparks, that's his third sack of the ball game, and Lawton is down on his back, not getting up.
Taylor brought down behind the run. Gets the running back off to the right side, and they'll hand the ball to him. And here's Gore. He's not going anywhere that time as he ran into Hellegard, among others, back around the 18 or 19. but that one is going nowhere. and two on a sweep coming up to the left side, but uh, they're not going to get at that time. As Pearson Hart... again and here comes the blitz and they've got him wrapped up for a sack from the far side was that Lucas Sparks that came blasting in there I believe it was but he had help Boone out of the shotgun drops two steps wants to throw to the right and picked off USF gets it back there's Coward at the 50-45 and looking for running room down in the top. The throw again, throws to the left, looking, and that one is, is picked off by Deshaun Lewis, and here come the Cougars back on across the 20-yard line. So Deshaun Lewis, that guy. Barnett throws near side by that one's picked off the Sean Lewis second time today grabbed it at the 42 and he's down to the 35 yard line He's got running room. Cross midfield. Turns the corner at the 45, 40, 35, and a foot race inside the 20-yard line. And Green takes the handoff. Got a block. Works oh, to the 40, 35, 30, and a foot race. And he will go to the house. Justin Green. Straight up the middle, running room, and cutting down side is Harris. Harris to the 30, 45, 40, 45. Ball off, half tackle, a stretch run, and there's the running room for Aaron Harris. Straight arms, one inside the 10, he's down to the 5.
time. Here's Pollard to throw, drops, looks, time to the pocket, throws, intercepted as the Cougars return it from the 30 to the 25. And they'll be in business once again, knocking on the door inside the 20 yard line. Good defensive play that was already Denton on the pick. And St. Francis first and 10. Another interception on the field, uh, on the field. Helen near side, that's picked up. And no, it's not. And getting away it for the sack. Ball pop free. Let's see how they're going to rule it. Did the whistle blow? I believe it did. Christian Johnson. fake and here's Barner the rush is coming looking and spun around and dropped that time the Cougars have got him that's James Jamisich I believe let's see been able to recover what time of the pocket steps up now flushed and they've got him for a sack Showing us how it's done. On the wing to the right side, here's a misdirection call. They throw the ball, crossing pattern. There's Nicodemus, touchdown. at the 30-yard line, fakes left, dancing around to the right, and he's coming back to the left side, got a block, turns the corner at the 40, 45, he's got a chance, at the 30, at the 30, at the 20, Lee Stewart, still on his feet, inside the five.
to him, turning the, trying to turn the corner, and he can't do it. Cougars stretch that out nicely defensively with great lateral pursuit. Inside, looking for running room, and he's tripped up. What a great tackle, knifing in there. Wilmer Cole made the play. Well, Wilmer Cole, who had six tackles last week in the big win over Linden. Ready to hit the football playoff trail today, hosting the Missouri Valley Vikings. This will be the second time the teams have met. Back in 2011, USF traveled to Missouri Valley and won it 28 to 14. Rapidly disappearing yard lines. Here's Green looking to catch the ball, and momentum carried him to the right side. Works back to the 10. Middle of the field now comes near side. 15, 20, got a block. Splits defenders. Still on his feet across the 35 to the 40. And he rolls all the way in the lead. Green again working off tackle. Slips a tackle. Midfield 45-40. Cuts inside. He's behind the defenders. They try to push him out of the way. to throw the ball. And looking for Coat. Coat scattered on his fingertips inside the 20. Inside the 15. Straight arms the defender. Still on his tip down. down the left sidelines. And he got it. Nix will come on to try to tie the ball game. Booming uh, extra point kick is on the way, and that is good. And Bridges from the right side, hash mark, and keeps the ball himself. Spun around, and this time they've got him. Drop for a loss. Coming in there, good play by Marcus Stepp. Drop by Bridges, looks, throws to the left side. Has got an interception! Cougars have got the ball. Jumping the route, and they'll have their first pick of the day. And that was Lewis, Nashawn Lewis with the interception. Takes the snap, little uh, option run. The Sparks has got him wrapped up and dropped. Sparks stayed right at the 38-yard line. Here's a drop ball by Bridges, picks it up, and is warm and swarmed and dropped. Sparks was in there again, but he had company. Pearson Harnish was looking and uh, looks and did hand the ball off, and Kelso in a foot race, and he will score. Motion now by Kelso. Here's a fair looking throws, and he's got a one handed grab by Coat, and he leaps for the down market pylon touchdown. But I tell you what, Seth Coat, one handed catch, and then uh, his momentum carry him nearly out of bounds down the right sideline. Play action fake, roll to the right side. Bridges looks, lofts the ball up. That one's intercepted. Wilmer Cole played it well. Both Heiser was the intent. Checks down, hits Nicodemus, 35, 40, 45. And, and behind the defense, inside the 35 to the... Ferrer looks, hands the ball to Green. Looking for a block, cuts him up to the middle, inside the 30 to the 25. In a foot race inside the 15, to the 10, to the 5. And Green looking to reach the pylon, touchdown! Dakota Collins looking to, on a, a reverse, being chased. And they've got the... That's a Henry. Top 10 nationally ranked matchup here today in Fort Wayne in NAI playoff football. Number four, St. Francis hosting number five, Morningside. 90 seconds, they'll draw, they give the ball off. Here's Green in the middle of the field, 25, 30, 35, up the middle, and still into midfield territory, brought down a yard. And here's Ferrer, looks, throws quickly, and there's Colt with the ball, and a touchdown. Quick hitting play, and it's good for 12 yards, and a touchdown. And uh, they'll run the ball, Cavan is wrapped up and dropped. Himmelgarn came crashing through there. Had some help from Lucas Sparks. That's a loss back to the 44. And looks to Green again, looking, cuts back right side, trying to get outside, he does, 10, 15, 20, 25 in a foot race, and at midfield, escapes one tackler inside the 30, they reach him at inside the 25, down inside the 20 yard line goes Justin Green, so the Cougars, a play designed to go off tackle, but Green broke it beyond containment to the right side and legged it out for a good game. And they want to run the ball with Green, 
And Green looking to get to the outside, turns the corner, 35-30. At the 25, to the 20, to the 15, steps over one tackler at the 10 and out of bounds. Justin Green, nothing there up the middle. Broken to the outside, turn the corner. Working out the signals once again, short drop, looks. And uh, wrapped up in six, they've got him back at the... Short drop, pump fake, now throws the corner, he's got code out there. Can he find the handle? He's got the ball, touchdown! If they rule it, inbounds, they do! 26 yards on the touchdown. And they'll run the ball. And here's a little stop and go move, and Cavan wanting to throw. Looking, throws a long ball up, and looking, coach got it in his fingertips, did he hold on? They're going to roll the catch. Coat actually mistimed his leap. He was coming down, leaped up, and still able to stretch out his play action fake. Ferrer looks, throws a middle, wide open, South Coat inside the 10, inside the 5, and a touchdown for St. Francis. 50 yards, wide open with Seth Coat, and he's got back-to-back -back touchdowns. Line of scrimmage, Blitz is coming, they'll run the ball. Here's Green, cuts back to the right side. He's at the 40, 35, 30, 25, and a foot race. He's got a chance to score. It's on the 5 and a touchdown. It was 4th down, 3rd down and 15, and a 47-yard touchdown run by Justin Green to ice the game as the Cougars will pad their lead now up to 41. This program was founded 19 years ago by a head coach who came in with a lot of wins. He's gotten a lot more since he's been here. And at this time, I'd like to ask Sister Elise Chris to come up. Please present our head coach, Kevin Donnelly, with a football with the number 300 celebrating win number 300 today. USF facing uh, the Reinhardt University Eagles in a playoff rebadge from a year ago, won in Fort Wayne by St. Francis 37-26 in a first round meeting. And now by Boswell, here's a counter run to the right side by Green, trying to turn the corner and does, angles out of bounds. Well, we'll have to check that somewhere around the six or the five. Drop, looks, now throws it as long as he can, looking for Coat, one hand catch, he's got it! Wow, that's Odell Beckham style. Seth Coat with a big, big catch inside the 25. It'll be first and 10. Green will set up about three, four yards deep in the end zone. They'll hand the ball to him, looking for running room. Off tackle, brings it out across, and he's in down the left sidelines, across the 30, 40 at midfield, inside the 35. They'll not catch him today. Justin Green to the house. He'll run. For 89 yards and a touchdown at the 844 mark. Justin Green looked like he was bottled up right about the 10 yard line. I was looking down to write the score down or the yard line. Now motion near side, play action fake. Here's Ferrer. Looks throws over the middle. He's got Cope. Cope with a fingertip catch and he's in the end zone. Dances in the final 10 yards. It'll be a 45 yard touchdown. Action fake and Thompson wants to throw, looks to a spot, he's got a man, catch is made. Did he hold on to the ball? Let's see. Here we go now, ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Here is Thompson, wants to throw in the middle, and that's intercepted! It's a picked off, and a run to the right side, that's Matt, uh, Matt Muncy, I believe, into the corner of the end zone, did he get to cross the pylon, touchdown! It will be, Thompson wants to throw the fades, got a man out there, picked off again, Cole, Wilmer Cole's got it! And they've got a face mask as well, but I don't see a penalty flag. But the Cougars will have their second interception. Rolls to his left side, looking to throw on the run. And they're going to diving in. It's intercepted again. I think it's Shannon Swain comes up for the pick. And the Cougars, with four minutes remaining, have their third interception of the day.
go, boys. It's a playoff rematch for 2012 between these two football teams with the national championship on the line here tonight. Baker comes in to Florida with a perfect 14-0 record, number two in the NAIA, averaging nearly 50 points a ball game, number two in passing, averaging almost 370 a game through the air. Two running backs in, and they'll hand the ball off. Here's a cut up the middle, and they're into the second level. Here he comes Nicodemus into the 15 to the 10 to the 5. He's down in From the six. And Ferrer looking for Coke, throws the fade up. Looking, looking, he's got the ball for a touchdown. If he holds on, touchdown. Cougars get it. It'll be a six-yard touchdown on third and goal at the 8.22 mark. Cougars take the lead at 6-3. Waiting for the snap, here it is. Right-footed kick is on the way, and it's got a chance on the way, and it is good! 44 yards. Dances, throws right side, has got a catch, all the Cougars are there. And it'll be a loss back around the USF 49 yard line. Clark paid the ultimate price that time. And Bertel drops the throw again, steps oh, up the pressure. pressure, he lost the football. And the Cougars have got it at the 39 yard line. There it is, there it is. Great job that time by the Cougar defense, number 39 coming in and causing that fumble. Lucas Sparks grabbed the football, he's got the fumble recovery. Here's motion by Boswell, and uh, here's Green up the middle into the second level. Brings to his left, he's got the defense. Oh, he's got a chance. They won't get it. Oh, Nelson Green to the house for 59 yards. The Cougars on the board on the last play by Justin Green. Spin play. Ferrer steps up, throws left side. Oh, he's wide open. He's got the ball to 15 to the 10. Three yards one, he's got a touchdown. That one is good for 59 yards at the 44 second mark. How did Seth Coates get that wide open? Unbelievable. How do you lose a guy like Seth Coates behind you in all places? Barrera wants to throw, throws the fade down near side, looking for Coates up, and he's got the ball at the 40, and down at the 46, he just out the Baker defender. Yeah, he did. Boy, unfortunately for him, that was uh, Darian Winston. Well, comes near side. And a spin move by Ferrer. Looks to the right side. Yeah, got a man down there. Cope with a touchdown. 36 yard money. Cope down in the end zone with a smirk catch. For the next for a touchdown. I just had a feeling Cope lined up as a tight end that time on the right side. Out of the pistol. Looks to hand it off. Here's Dean. He's got running oh, around. And he's behind the defense. Inside the 10 to the 5 and a touchdown. Cooper icing on the cake for the Cougars. 28-yard touchdown run at the 248 mark, and they're back to a three-touchdown lead. Cougars not ready to concede anything yet at this point. Here's looking at what they've got him wrapped up, and that's a big sack. That was Marcus Stepp. <laughs> Boy, Bertel did not know what it was coming. No, it surely did. And let the party begin. 38-17, Cougars win it. The national championship in 2016 by 21 big points. We're so happy to do this for our university, for the city of Fort Wayne, for Sister Elise. Uh, it was some butterflies at the beginning, I ain't gonna lie, but it's phenomenal right now. The feeling is amazing. All the five o'clock lifts, all the five o'clock practices are paying off. That's what it feels, it just feels good. Best feeling ever to be a national champion. Oh man, my, my offensive lineman block great, man. The them five down there, they work so hard, man. I gotta give it up to them. It's all it's all them. It's all them. Look at this. Those guys up there helped me do it. I mean, I'm blessed. I'm thankful. You know, we're all brothers, we're family, and everyone's, you know, after the game, I love you. You know, that's what it's all about, is your brothers being by your side. We all stood up tonight and and we, we felt like we were disrespected all week by Baker, by the NAIA, but we were able to come out tonight and show up. Yeah, I know, we just played well. We executed our game plan, 
and everybody just gave it their all. They gave 100%, and we just came out on top. We had some critical plays, some forced fumbles, and it just went well, went in our favor. You know, we just kept it going, and then it was just a great team win all together. Special teams did everything. It was beautiful, man, beautiful. We didn't come this far to lose, you know what I mean? We didn't even come this far to win. We came this far to dominate, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we did. We, we call the shots out here. We don't, we don't, NAI player to a player of the year, we don't care nothing about that. That don't mean nothing. We call the shots on defense. It was hard work. It's coming in when nobody else is coming in over the summer, making sacrifices. I, I'm so broke and I still came to the workouts and I could have took that time out to work. But what I wanted to do is make my team better because this is a once in a lifetime thing. And we did it. We did it, baby. Everything pays off in the end. All this hard work and dedication from all our teammates has finally paid off. All the hard work and blood and sweat and tears and love and great memories we have, man. And it's just beginning for some guys. I'm so happy it happened my senior year, man. I'm ecstatic. Speechless, baby. I know. All I know is we're coming back next year. We're taking it to them. I love all my seniors. And I'm proud to be a Cougar. Oh yeah, that's that's all our focus is right now. We're gonna celebrate, enjoy this win, but come uh, winter weights, you know, we we got the same goal as this year. We've been harping on all year, man. This stuff is bigger than us. It's bigger than us, man. And for us to come out like this as champions, oh my God, I feel so good right now. I could have gave up so many times, but I didn't. We stuck it out, and I stuck it out every six years. I knew, I knew something. I knew, I felt it in my heart. Like God told me to come back. This Family told me to come back. And like these guys right here, I wouldn't change it for the world. Going from six and five two years ago uh, to undefeated last season and getting beat uh, before this game, um, and now you know putting the putting the cherry on top, or we could say you know putting the ring on the finger. Uh, last year's senior class, this year's senior class, really just worked so hard to turn it around. And couldn't be happier for our players. I mean, it, this is just such a testament to them. Coach Donnelly um, got this program back on track, and, and we earned it, baby. USF football, we earned it. That's a blessing. I mean, just just to know that you you come in as a freshman and um, and just you know what I'm saying you wish to be in a national championship and you come out on top and you leave as a senior senior year and you give Coach D what he wants his, his, his whole year to be able to even play for him to even walk out on his field that's under his name it, it's amazing. So bringing a national title back to Fort Wayne for him is is it's it's very surreal. Hey, and it's the 25th anniversary for Georgetown, so I think that's just a sweet moment. He deserves it. He's worked so hard over the last um, 19 years I think he's been at USF. I'm speechless because like coaches talked to him, he lost three in a row and he's just he has been driven this week he's not gonna lose and nothing was gonna get in our way and nothing did so that's that's awesome coach D great for this team and uh, it's just been an unbelievable ride this year. Um, I think I kind of broke down on the sideline a little bit there. Uh, my last game of playing was 06. We thought it was a game that we should have had and, and we let slip through our fingers so not letting this one slip through was the biggest thing. It was awesome, amazing. The best possible goal we could reach, we reached it, and we did it for Coach D. I mean, I, I just can't even explain the excitement, you know. Uh, after sitting out last season, it made me a little extra hungry for this win. And, you know, uh, you know we've been chasing that, that first uh, national championship in program history. And, you know, it feels so good to get that win for Coach D. You know, he's such a player's coach, and, and we all love him, so it just feels so good to be able to get this win for him. He's, he's like a father to everybody on the team, and especially to me. I love him, he loves us, and you know what? It feels good to be the first ones to get it for him. The man never changes. Every year, it's just he's the same father figure to us all, and through him, things happen. We believed in him, and here we are, man. We're national champions, and we did it. We did it for him. We did it for the city. It's very special. You know, we had a family thing going at Dub C, and uh, he was a big reason, big factor in the reason I came here. So to, uh, to win this with him is very special. I'm very glad that he got to go out on top, and I'm looking forward to trying to do this all again next year. I'm very excited. It's just a blessing. Thank God every day for the opportunities he's given us and the senior class. We've led this group to the biggest opportunity that there is in college football and we got it done. Got the national championship, bring it back to the fort, baby. Coach Donnelly, man, is the greatest and um, just the staff alone. I'm just proud of the staff and the young men that we have in our program. It's a great program. Um, I'm so blessed to be able to share this with Coach D, a man that uh, uh, that I played for and I get to coach alongside and it's just absolute blessing. I'm so proud of our guys. It's just more than this a game. You know, we've been uh, building for this moment for 19 years. Um, the Cougar family that's out there supported us tremendously and um, they they were here tonight in force. Uh, we had some falls, you know, uh, back in the old days where we didn't quite come through for everyone. 
uh, we came through tonight. This group of guys, it, it couldn't happen to a better group of guys. We did every, we did, the, we did things the right way, and I'm just extremely proud of everybody. And and Cougs are number one, baby. Yeah, it starts back to, to 1997 with that first class. Um, I'm fortunate enough to see it from the very, very beginning. And uh, there's a lot of people that uh, that contributed to this. I know it was a long time ago. The foundation was laid and continued to build uh, over these many years. And uh, this is the culmination. It's what we waited for. It's what we worked hard for. And so many have. I feel great. Take the dub home, baby. Take the dub home.